Stephen, how big were those three breakthroughs towards the end of the day? Yeah, huge, I think, in the, in the context of the game. Um, obviously, we didn't start as well as we wanted this morning. Um, but credit to you know Josh Bohannon and, and George Bolson, I thought they played really well. Um, and then, obviously, we got out there in, in some bowler-friendly conditions and managed to capitalise tonight before the close and then uh, sort of four wickets, three wickets today? Three wickets three. today. Um, yeah, have put us in a position now where the game's probably back in the balance going into tomorrow and it could be an exciting, uh, exciting chance to win again. Bowler friendly conditions, you say, but psychologically, how difficult are those sessions of the field inside? You were on and off quite a lot in those last couple of hours. Yeah, I think I think it's difficult for both sides. Probably more so the batting side, to be fair. Um, I think you know the challenge from a bowling side is to stay loose and, and make sure you have to be on it from ball one. But to get back in as a batter is probably more difficult than that. Um, you know, I thought Lyndon James was absolutely outstanding. Ollie, until he went off, was was outstanding as well. Um, yeah, and obviously delighted to get them three wickets. We've seen Lancashire score at quite a rate on the first day, but today they went 44 balls without a boundary. Was that was that part of the plan as well this evening? It's always the plan not to go for any boundaries. Um, but I, I think, you know, by our own admission, we've not bowled as well as we have over the last couple of years. We pride ourselves on, you know, the, the run rate that we go at. Um, yeah, and, and Lancashire have, have capitalised on that and gotten a decent lick the whole, the whole game. Um, but obviously very pleased to come back. I think they're 180 ahead, uh, something like that, with, with six wickets left. So it's set up to be a really exciting game, and that's why we play. And in the cricket we saw this morning, we saw Ollie Stone beat the bat on a number of occasions before he took those wickets later on. What, what has he brought to the group with his slightly different pace bowling approach? Yeah, I think his figures in both innings really don't reflect how well he's bowled. Uh, he, but he's definitely brought a lot of pace, that is for sure. I think he's, um, you know, he's bowling... I would suggest upwards of 90 mile an hour though in, in, most, smell, uh, in most spells. Sorry. Um, so yeah, he's brought that, but he's just a great guy to have around. You know, he got left out at Lords, didn't sulk him on, got on with it, was a great 12th man, great around the group. Um, yeah, just hopefully that injury, what he went off with, isn't too bad, and we can see him back out there very soon. And a decent forecast tomorrow. What's the approach likely to be for day four? Well, bowl them out and chase the runs is the easiest way to sum up that. Um, I think if we bowl like we did, obviously, tonight, um, I'm not, I think the weather's saying it's probably a bit better tomorrow. So, you know, if the clouds are in, we'll try and um, take advantage of that. But I think, obviously, we're going to have to try and keep it tight, uh, probably in outfields, put them under some pressure, you know, and hopefully then we can, we've got a chance to, to go out and chase a score down.